Hey guys, it's Alexis, and I'm sorry I kind of look like a freaking dude right now, but my hair is out of control, and I'm trying to save you guys' lives to not see that for a long time, okay? So I'm just going to keep it like that. Today's video is talking about like insecurities and not being comfortable with yourself and things like that, so just keep watching the video. First, I want to talk about the things that I don't like about myself, because so you can see that everyone's the same. We all have our little issues that we do not like and we don't feel comfortable with but you gotta live with it because you can't do anything about it and if you hear me talking quiet because my parents are next door watching tv and i don't want to bother them i don't want them to hear what i'm saying because that's awkward okay bye. anyways yeah so the lights in front of me are kind of blinding me and i kind of don't like it i just see dots everywhere one thing i don't like about myself my eyebrows are freaking thick as fudge and not even shaped for anything but i do do the middle part so i don't have a unibrow so that saves some people from not seeing that. But that's a choice I've made because I can do my eyebrows. I've done them before and I look pretty full. Just kidding, I'm not being cocky. And yeah, but I'm okay with it. That's me. I don't like to get all done up. I don't wear makeup, as you can see. Maybe I should. Another thing from doing the middle part, I break out right here, only right here. And I can do nothing about that. Another thing, my hair is, I have little baby hairs that is uncontrollable, like, those aren't baby hairs though, but most of them are, and whatever I do with my hair, it will, they will stick up. You know what, I'm looking pretty decent in this video, I'm going to show you guys that I really don't care, okay? Yes. So I'm wearing a door beanie, that really does not fit me. You know, ooh, let's just save that monster under here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Another thing is, I am a tomboy, and people mistaking me as a lesbian. But I'm not. I like the dictionary. Just needed to clear that up. People have texted me weird things. But I'm just tomboyish. I like to be comfortable. I'm just wearing a sweater, but underneath I'm wearing a freaking soft washer. Okay? So, I'm dressed like a freaking dude right now. But I really don't care because I'm in my home and I'm comfortable. And I want you guys to know the real me. Because, you know, boy YouTubers, all I gotta do is put a freaking tank top on and just put their hair. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god. But they really are cute last day out. Yeah. Another thing, this might not seem bad, but I'm pretty skinny. I have a double chin, I know. <laughs> That's just the way my head is. But I can't do anything about it. And people always have tease me about it, like, you need to eat. Oh my god, do you eat? You're so lucky. Oh my god. You're so bony. That's gross. Oh my god. I'm not gonna eat more. I'm, I, I eat like a bird. And being chubby, being skinny, being athletic body thing, that's what I am. But I'm like, I'm skinny, I guess. It really doesn't matter if you're happy like that. And if you like that lifestyle, then that's you. You can't control it. If you're thick, you can't control it. If you're thin, you can't control it. If you like to eat, you can't control it. If you don't like to eat, you can't control it. But eat. eating is good. Don't do that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Another thing, I don't like to wear my hair down. People get mad at me for it. I do wear it here and there. But when my neck is covered, I get hot. I don't like that feeling. I need air to breathe. And my hair is very thick and it's very retarded. So I either wear it in a side braid or a ponytail and I'm comfortable like that and I really don't care if people don't like it I freaking can go to a freaking place wearing my side braid for a long time but if it's like a party or something I'll put my hair down because I don't want to look like a freaking retard because even though I shouldn't care what people think but sometimes I do want to look a little gorgeous <laughs> I'm ugly but I can't do anything about it if you guys have little flaws of your own you just, you just gotta live with it and if you want to try to fix them or you just don't look like 
if you don't like it that much, try to fix it. And yeah, it might make you happy. But if you can't fix them, just make like jokes out of them. Like I make jokes about my eyebrows. I make jokes about my hair. I make jokes about my retarded freaking profile, my head, and everything. Just make jokes about it because like some part like my eyebrows are funny. Like I have freaking like caterpillars. I don't care. I just I find it funny and I just try to make the best out of it. And that's what you should do. And. I have an overbite, but I have, I have to wear headgear. And that's. I'm trying to fix that, but I really don't care. But my orthodontist is making me wear it. So I kind of have no choice. And then since I have braces, my teeth do get yellow very fast. But I brush my teeth like four times a day, but they'll still get yellow fast. No, I don't like it one bit. No, I'm really dumb. And if you're worried about someone not liking you because of that little flaw or that big flaw, you will find someone that will love you for you inside and will probably love that little flaw. The dimples in your back, the bottom of your spine, I will love them endlessly. I probably sang that wrong. Yeah, you're gonna find that person that's gonna love you for anything, with anything on you, a beauty mark, freckles, crazy eyebrows. Hold that thought. My eyebrows might turn people <laughs> But you just can't, you just, the, that person will love you if you don't care about it and you accept it because, because you have to accept it. You can't really do anything about it. God gave you that. Live with it. Love it. Breathe it. Embrace it. And you're going to be okay. I promise you'll be okay. I will love you for you. Someone will love you for you. God will love you for you. My dog will love you for you. My camera will love you for you. My subscribers will love you for you. Your friends will love you for you. Your parents will love you for you. Your grandparents will love you for you. Your family will love you for you. Your brother will love you for you. Kind of. My eyebrows will love you for you. If you're not the best on the outside and you're amazing in the inside, then you're basically beautiful. If you're awesome in the outside but ugly in the inside, you're like a freaking cigarette messing up your lungs. Was that a bad metaphor? Probably. I am sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I just, you just not, you gotta not care because life is too short and you just gotta embrace it and have fun and wear Dora beanies because Dora beanies are the best. So I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you guys want to talk to me or anything, my Twitter and Instagram is below in the descriptions and on Twitter you can tweet me. I would love to tweet you guys. On Instagram, you can direct message me. And I would love to talk to you guys. And I will, I just, like, do you want to be friends? I'm looking for friends here. So thumbs this video up if this helped you. And comment below some of your flaws and make a joke about them. Don't be too mean to yourself. Just like a little joke. I have a big head. It's like gonna knock me down. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be awesome. One thing I forgot to mention about me that probably a lot of us have is the bags under my eyes. And that's probably because I'm on the computer so much. And you guys might have that too because you're watching my videos. So you've probably been on the computer for a while for finding my videos. <laughs> but can't do nothing about it but it makes me look retarded but right now you really can't see it well no wow for once you can't see it well, on the video you can tell that i have bags under my eyes so thank you guys for watching i will see you next tuesday and i'm gonna go